Eivor, did Basim contact you in Norway? He said he would be joining you. Yet here you are, and I have no word from him. Hytham, this will be hard to hear, but Basim attacked us in Norway. Vengeance for some transgression of ours, imagined or real. You mean... You mean you slew him yourself? Sigurd and I, together, I know this comes as a... I do not understand. Why would he do such a thing? He loved Sigurd, he loved you. I do not understand it myself. Perhaps one day we can speak about this with more clarity. But for now, I am deeply sorry. Sigurd! Eivor, before you say more, I must tell you something. Randvi and I have, uh, have ended our marriage. I am sorry to hear that. Ah, do not be. We adore one another dearly. But our marriage was not built on love. We were brought together... ...as an act of peace. I was pledged to her well before I knew her. And though we have tried to settle our differences... ...and find love in our faults... ...it has not worked out. And so we have dissolved our bond. Yet as a clan... ...we will grow together. And I'm glad for you both... ...and for the rest of us. This place would not be the same without you two. Hamptonshire... ...the last Saxon stronghold... ...and very heavily guarded. King Alfred is preparing for war. You will meet tremendous resistance. As will Alfred. Is Guthrum Jarl there with his army? He is. He and Uba have gathered a sizable force and intend on launching an attack on Alfred soon. If we support their assault, England will fall to us. A pagan land where a multitude of gods may freely roam. What is it, Eivor? You must not go. You must not. The signs, the portents, they shout and wail. Your leaving will be our doom. Speak clearly, Valka. What have you seen? I have thrown the bones. I have stared the offal of beasts. And in the rising steam, I saw the end of it all. Though this battle you may win, this war you will not. Your foe will be your master. Your hope will be your grief. This is fate. Our fate. I thank you for this, Valka. But the yawns of fate are too frayed for me to follow now. I owe this fight to my friends and allies, and I will see it through. Go then, with great care. But know that the home you leave will not be the home to which you return. Eivor! You come at Guthrum's call. It is good to see you. And you, Soma. There is an uneasy peace here. Both armies with their hackles up. Was blood spilt? No. We took Werum without resistance. These Saxons accompany their lord as we stand beside Guthrum. So this ford is not the sum of his ambitions. Guthrum's plan is to bring the Saxons to the table. If he can win the peace without a fight, he will do so. And how likely is that? Just now they sit on their thumbs in the church, talking in circles. Come, I will take you to him. Who is Guthrum meeting here? Is it Alfred? That's right. The King of the West Saxons has agreed to negotiate. Seems we have him on the back foot. Guthrum should be careful. Alfred speaks with Loki's tongue. Guthrum is not a babe at teat, Eivor. Nor is Alfred. If he has come, it is for his own advantage. Then give us counsel. Stand by Guthrum, show our strength. The King of Hayseeds will soon be humbled, trust me. We took this town as if it were a straw hole. Do not challenge me, Elf King. Your show of swagger and strength has my attention, Guthrum. But we agreed on terms. What more do you want? The crown of Wessex. Wessex has a king, and that king has the backing of the Almighty. Yours is a fever dream, Dane. We need not ask for it, Goodwin. We will take it. As we have taken all the kingdoms of England, 
Ah, Eivor. Our blunted tool returns, Lord. I have given you all I care to. A Dane geld to leave Wareham. You swore an oath upon the cross and that pagan hammer. And when you scurry back to whatever shit-soaked hovel you crawled from, we will release your men. Speak again, handmaid, and I will feed your tongue to Eivor's raven. A fair trade. We already have your cock. Are we done with this pissing contest? If Guthrum has given you his word, he will honor it. We will leave this town. You have one day. Do not test the King's patience further, or our men will return to Wareham with force. And if you doubt my conviction, know that the Avon River near Uffentune runs red with the blood of your countrymen. Their commander, what did his men cry as he fell? Ula? Uba? Yes, that was it. Remember, you have taken my silver. In return, I expect your honor. I will await news of your retreat in Chippenham. Uber dead? It cannot be! Gods, I will tear that Saxon skin from his bones if this is true! Alfred hisses with a snake tongue, but he gains nothing from this lie. When news of this spreads through the camp, no Saxon will survive the day. You swore upon the cross. Oh, I have no intention of cowing to that milk sack. Now more than ever, I will take his throne and his head. In Winchester, Alfred used me as a tool and cast me aside. So let the betrayer be betrayed. We will burn this village to the ground. After that, we take care of Alfred. We can rest here a moment. Now, tell me what you know of that breaker of rings. Weak and wretched troll. Alfred is a wily fox. He appears frail, but draws upon an inner strength. You'll not be easy to oust. Fury will fuel my army and my claim. It will not be enough. You must find a weakness. Yes. That is why I called you here. Do you balk at the opportunity to bury the Saxon king? I must first hear a plan to balk at. Mm. Alfred spoke of Chippenham, a squat hovel of sheep and peasants. So why does he go there and not to Winchester? Your scouts must know they're the best in England. A holiday feast. Their Saxon Christ Mass. Alfred will warm his heels by the fire, while Uba lies cold in an English field. I have called upon my allies to join us in this fight, but I must know where to send them. Is Chippenham our final prize? It is. But uh, I will need my men for the coming fight as well. The hostages Alfred took, if there is a chance to save them. You will not lose more friends today. Where are they held? A place further ahead through this forest. They call it Hampton Blockade. Soma, ride north to the Thames and lead my allies south. They should be gathered by now. I will. Gather on the river passing Chippenham. The rest of you set up camp there. I called you Raven Feeder once. At Porchester, you were as hot-headed as Thor. You have become a true leader, Eivor. There is much to come, Guthrum, before we can rest with mead in our hands and songs in our ears. They came from all over England. I never thought it possible, Eivor, that you would rally Saxons and Norse under your black-feathered banner. They see the tyranny of this elf king. He would crush them all under heel and plug their hearts with his god. So what is the plan, Eivor? When is their feast day? A few nights from now, but their revelry has already begun. We should attack now. That is unwise. Soldiers pace the paths of the village. Then the night of the feast, under cover of darkness. That is when we will strike. Uba will not have died in vain. We await your instructions, Eivor. Let us plan our approach. But whatever happens, Alfred is mine. 
They are not expecting us. We should not meet much resistance on the way. Then quietly through the fields. It will already be too late once they see us. Your young Saxons can be our eyes to the west. Better to keep their soft hands away from the conflict. My scouts reported that a few nobles have arrived for the festivities already. Good. If we capture the things, there will be no danger when I confront Alfred. And we could persuade them to support a new king of Wessex. I will subdue the lords. Take Deolaf and Tifta with you. They could prove useful in convincing the Thanes. Rhoda, take Erke and Stow and capture the garrison. Make quick work of any Saxons that dare cross into the village. <laughs> Gladly, Eivor. We each know our parts. May they blunt their swords against our might. Tonight, Wessex's last resistance will crumble. I follow you, Eivor. And I. Be ravening wolves and croaking ravens. Stand firm. Your axe arms strong. And together, we will win this final battle. <laughs> and remember, Alfred is mine. Alfred! Face me, and I will spare the last of Wessex from my torch! Did you think my king would turn his back on you, Eivor, when your knife is smeared with the blood of Werum? Stand aside, Goodwin. I come for Alfred. Alfred is long gone, and this good Christian feast, a cup of honey wine, to trap some wasps. Where is he? Calling his allies to his side. All those who wish to see Wessex under one god. You cannot win England with your sorry crew of deluded farmers and godless fools. At least I would not leave them to die as I scurried through the corn husks like a rat. You have no understanding of duty, the loyalty I freely give. His plan for England, for the world, is worth the cost of my life. Then sing your tuneless hymns. Come, Raven Feeder. Do your worst. You are beaten, Goodwin. Beaten? No, not so. By my death, my lord may live. Alfred used you, fool. He threw you in my path. For what? He only delays what is inevitable. Kill me then. It makes no odds. For here you stand, bloody and breathless, no closer to my king, no closer to his throne. This island will never be your home, Eivor. You will not subdue her with vicious force or win her with cocksure words. We Saxons will always stand firm, shoulder by shoulder against thieves and tyrants whose envious eyes fall upon England. If I must strike down all of England to subdue her, let it begin with you. Oh Lord, into your hands I commit my spirit.
Gunwald, listen to me. You survived the Battle of Bottlestun. Do not let this scratch best you now. I'm so cold. As winter comes so soon. You will warm yourself with mead and dancing yet, my friend. Perhaps not, Eivor. It may be I will sit beside my father soon. Will he be proud of me? He will pull you to his breast, saw bright words of welcome, and, and tell you no man ever had a worthier son. I am glad to have known you, Eivor. My truest. They are routed! The city is ours! Wessex will follow! Guthrum Yal, we're not without losses. Some of them grave. Their king is fled! His patsy struck down! Defeat rings loud in their ears, and I will be their lord before the spring is here! Guthrum, hear me! Soma is. She's gone. Soma? Dead? She has gone to the Endless Feast, and is the better for it. I must speak to those still living. Do you think there will come a day when winning will not be enough? Well, you can always fight with me if you want to taste crushing and loin-soiling defeat. My very presence would make that impossible. Enjoy this victory, Eivor, wherever it brings you. Only a coward thinks you'll live forever. My thanks, Stowe. You came to my aid when you were free to turn away. And still it breaks my heart to look upon what we've done today. Was it the right choice? I do not know. But it is done now. If Alfred had his way, there would never be friendship between Norse and Saxon. You fought for peace. Be proud of that. I wish I could. And in time, perhaps I will. Erke, you wear a furrowed brow. Stowe is taking matters hard. You know how sensitive he is. A man of faith and stout morals. Small wonder he's tormented. His support for you has taxed him hard. I will take him back to London. Maybe he will find some comfort there. You are his comfort, Aki. Not the city you watch. He is in good hands. You are not injured, Tefter. Bruises, that is all. I've taken the Lord into my heart, and he watched over my sorry bones. Those who fell sit beside him now. And what of my heathen friends? I used to believe in damnation for all who turned from his light. But there is a wondrous communion in friendship honored. Even though your godson preaches peace, and we shall do that, Christians and Pagans, side by side. Never persecuted. Your Christ would smile at that, I think. Your Freya would too. Deolav, Gidrich, there's a solemn air about you. To disturb such holy revels with blood and murder. I fear God may never forgive me for this. Had your God taken Alfred's side, we would not have won. So it may be that you did his work after all. Alfred still lives, and now I am twice his enemy. Give me one more fight, and I will gladly make it a third. He is defanged and a little threat to us now. That slippery eel may yet surprise you. Atonement is a long and lonely path, and I must soon leave to take my first steps upon it. Your debts to me are paid. I wish you well on your journeys. Many fought for us and died. They deserve peace. Are you ready to honor them? Yes. There is nothing more to say. Time to send our friends to their great reward. Will you do the honors? Nothing awaits them. They lived, they died. And now their bodies will burn to cinders. 
Their saga ends here. Well, do not share that with them. Victory is ours. But it came at a great cost. Soma Yalskona, who stood at Guthrum's right hand, she will live on in our memories from now till the end of days. And to your warrior, husband, and friend, he made the ultimate sacrifice. I hear repay it. And to Hunwald, whose kind heart has now led him to his father's side. May his God welcome him with open arms. Let us send them on their way. All our beloved dead. Our fallen warriors. And speed them to their end. Guthrum. When the Reeve died, did he take comfort in knowing he would soon see his god? He was strangely peaceful in the end, as if death meant nothing. We stumble through our years, ravenous, grasping, spilling blood, stealing gold, and it is never enough. This life is never enough. Would it not suit you to know there is something beyond all this? Not war and valor, but quiet and peace. I think... I think the afterlife men hope for is only a reflection of their regret in this life. All I wish for now is to live among the friends I have made. That is what counts. Alfred made me swear fealty upon the cross of their god's son. He held such faith in it. A plain, unadorned thing. It burned between my fingers, as if I had pulled it from the fire. A feeling strange and powerful, but gone in an instant. I have not felt its like before. What will you do now? Whatever I must do. England is my final home, Eivor. And I will do what it takes to remain. Eivor? Swanborough, I... No. Gods, no. Don't say it, please, Eivor. Don't say it. I am sorry. Oh! My own one. No! My poor swan! Oh, gods! He fought bravely, and turned the tide to secure a victory. Your dear Hunwald died a hero, and will be so remembered. Oh, gods. I know he would have fainted to hear such praise from your lips. Thank you, Eivor. Thank you. He walks among warriors now. Yes. The lucky man. I imagine he does. 
I know where it's our poor salve for a wounded heart. I'll leave you to mourn, and know that we're here for you, always, should you need us. Hamptonshire has fallen, and withered the Kingdom of Wessex. But the course was great, maybe too great for all we gained. Rest then, you have earned it. On the backs of so many, time will tell if it was worth it.